good good afternoon our our viewers and our followers on youtube and facebook uh, page this is margaret mongi from diani beach and this is our channel the best uh, travel channel we have globally it is known as amazing uh, amazing global travel and uh, discovery tv channel and this is a beautiful afternoon i'm here at the beach and i have come to interview some of the fishermen who are involved with uh, going to the ocean diani ocean to go and fish and he will take me through what he does what he does as a fisherman habari yako rafiki eh nimefika katika kazini mwako na ninaona kuna hata hizo neti neti za kufua samaki za kila aina na pia kuna kitu inafanana kama kijibasketi hapa unaweza tuambia hiki tunaunda ini nini inaitwa lema kile lema lema eh oh, lema ni inaitwa ni kitu ya kuvulia samaki samaki wadogo wadogo oh eh koi anatengeneza lema ama aina ya basket ambayo inatumika kwa kuvulia samaki wadogo wadogo she has just informed me that is is uh, making a basket a fish basket and this fish basket is used for fishing the small fish but not the big ones bona uh, ina bona mwavua wale wadogo badala ya wale wakubwa Oh, he has just informed me that they have the big ones for the, the lemma the big baskets for the big fish but the one is currently making is meant for the small fish now how aina ya samaki how adogo adogo anaitwa aje ni kama ina gani kama ina ya chengo eh ni dis Oh what uh, is telling me those types of fish they are not actually small fish it's only that it's the type of fish they don't grow big that is their actual size they don't like uh, they don't grow big like tilapia which we normally find on fresh water lakes these ones are type of fish which are found normally found here at diani ocean and they don't grow big so they cannot use the big uh nets to to trap them to catch them they have to make those small uh, basket in order to be able to to catch them na kwa hii kazi umeifanya kwa muda gani how long have you been in this business eh uh, he's telling us he has been doing this business for the last 11 years na ni kitu gani kilichochangia wewe kupenda kufanya hii kazi mzuri ya uvuvi Oh, he's telling uh, me that uh, this type of uh, uh, business he's doing is a way of earning money. It's a way of empowering himself financially. So for him, it's not a luxury. He's doing it as a, the way each one of us go to work, report to work every day, so that we can be able to to have, to get money to be able to meet with our basic needs he's also doing the same na nani alikufunza hii kazi ya kut, ya kufua na hata kutengeneza hizi baskets na utuangalie uangalie wat, wa, watazamaji <laughs> nani ali who taught you how to make the baskets and how to do the fishing work waze waze Oh sio baba yako ni watu tofauti to. Baba yangu pia ni mmoja hapo lakini kwa kama ndio mangu hapa pia. Oh. Oh. Ana mjomba wako anaitwa nani? Anaitwa Ali. Ali Dan. Ali. Oh he's telling me he was taught uh, this uh, trade by uh, different people. Uh, like the father the uncle actually the uncle is here 
and he's called Mzee Ali. Habari ya Mzee Ali? Eh, hey, Mzee Ali hata yeye anatengeneza. He's busy making a beautiful basket just like the one uh, our guest is making. Mzee Ali umefanya hii kazi kwa muda upi? You started Gulianza 1975. Na ukai mzee hata kidogo. <laughs> what are you eating? You in a in a kufanya umekuwa au au zeki? Eh, hey, uko na miaka ngapi hivi? How old are you? Oh. Sixty-three. Ah, yeah. when Kenya was gaining its independence. Oh, Ameniambia Muse is telling me he can't. He didn't go to school, unfortunately, due to hardship in his family. But he's able to remember that he was born around. 1963 during the Kenyan independence uh, period na mzee umefanya hii kazi kwa muda upi oh eh amekuwa kifanya hii kazi from 1975 mpaka wa leo that's what he has been doing na hii kazi umeifanya kwa muda mrefu ni baadhi ya mambo gani imekuwezesha kuyafanya kama mzee ambaye anatia bidii na ambaye anasaidia kujenga nchi ya Kenya. Eh. Eh. Eh umeweza Eh. Hiyo ni Eh. Mzee is telling me he has been able to to be able to feed for his family and also to buy fishing nets. They're expensive and he has managed to buy fishing nets like this one which is here, the blue, the blue net here belongs to Mze. He bought it with his own money and this shows he, he hasn't borrowed it from anyone. He bought it because he's busy working. He's busy making the nets, uh, the, the basket to catch the fish and he's busy fetching for his family by fishing in the ocean. As you can see, the ocean is there. Uh, the ocean is there, sorry. Uh, so this is what they are doing together with the Mjukuwake, uh, the grand, uh, cha the grandchild Tumze. This is what they have been doing. And uh, uh, they are saying it has been a family business and they have done it for quite some time. And it is uh, it is providing for them. They get money. They get money to for, to buy food. They get money to take children to school. They get money to build uh, homes. They get money even to 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 invest on other things which they there are other dreams which they have. Oh, now. Uh, Mzee usha jari usha wa jari boku fanya kazi nyingi ne isi boku. Eh. Oh. And then isi kusema. Mzee is telling us he has not been able to do any other business. He has been doing this business, and it has been an awesome business which he has done for the last from 1975. Those are like almost. 40 something years and up to today this is what he's doing ule ambaye nimetoka kumuhoji kwako ni kama nani eh oh huyu ni eh i was interviewing uh, the the uh, the son to her to his sister so anaweza muita mjomba wake na mzee na mnaishi wapi katika hii eneo la Diani Sambweni. So he's telling us he comes from Sambweni. He comes he comes from Sambweni area and he has been fishing here at Diani Beach for all that time. Na ni changamoto gani ambazo mnazipitia kwa hii kazi yenu 
vitu ambazo ugumu wote ambao unawafanya msifanye kazi yenu vizuri labda mnaenda um, baharini ampati samaki ama hakuna watu wanakuja kuwanunulia samaki Sasa Vua aje samaki hizi baskets. Hizi baskets. Eh. Hizi. Unatengeneza hapa. Mm. Tunaweka kwa maji. Mm. Unaiangusha kwa maji. Kwa maji. Unachukua kwa kwenye bahari. Eh. Unaweka ndani hiyo kwa sababu. Eh. Oh. 